Well, hello. Fingers crossed we have gone live. It's been a while. I'm a bit behind schedule as usual. Wednesdays are a bit crazy for us, so we'll talk you through what's going to happen about this um, as we're going along. There might be a slight change to what we're doing. So let's see if we've got anybody joining us. Fingers crossed we have. You'll have to excuse how I'm looking a bit rough, I know. Um, my makeup, because we've been on holiday, so I've got a little bit of a tan, and my makeup doesn't match my, my skin at the minute, so we're going au naturel with a bit of lippy. Um, so, how's everybody been? If you are watching, please comment so that I can see that we're there. It does say that we're connected on both. Yay, Pat! Missed your Wednesday afternoon fix. We've had a lovely rest, thank you very much. Um, Pat, we are still playing a little bit of catch up because we did take a couple of weeks and go away which was lovely um first time we've been away since before covid so it was a real nice break um hello sarah yay so we're on both woohoo right that's always a good start um today is a little bit um some of it i've prepped some of it i'm gonna wing um because i couldn't find my set of stamps in the last 20 minutes so that's the way it goes isn't it good afternoon tina hi die um, refreshed, I'm not sure about Di, but we are back. <laughs> we had a great holiday. Thank you, Sarah. So today I'm going to do using predominantly the same stamp, um, but we're going to do some little bits, of, a few techniques with some resisting with um, embossing powders and inks. Uh, so let's see how we get on. Um, I am doing a few different cards because they're quite quick and quite easy cards to do. Um, just thought it would be a nice way to sort of show you a few different techniques rather than always new cards um, and new styles. So although they're slightly different styles to what we I normally do, um, hopefully you'll enjoy them. So let's flip over. Oh my goodness, lots of you joining. Hi Tina, hi Lynn, hi Eileen. Um, yeah, let's flip round and get rid of some of these bits. So it looks like we've got loads going on here today, but we really haven't, I promise. Most of this is what most of you have already got or on your wish lists anyway. So what we're we using today. Um, we're using the sentiment out of here. As you all know, this is one of my favourite sentiments. Hi Maggie. Um, then we've got our sentiment stamp set that you all loved. This one says, happy birthday. Hope this year is your best one yet. Celebrate your day. Make a wish. Birthday wishes and hope your day is fabulous. Um, then... This one we may or may not use because um, I didn't get this last card that I want to show you finished because I, you know when it's in your head how you want it to go but it wasn't quite working out. So we're going to wing that one at the end. So fingers crossed. So we may or may not use birthday wishes or friendship is a gift that lasts forever. We may or may not use it. But this is from the Make a Wish stamp set. This is the stamp set we're predominantly using. So we're using this lovely big floral, um, yeah, floral stamp <laughs> um, called floral colour. It also comes with sometimes all you need is a little splash of colour or don't forget to have fun on the bottom here. Heather, first time watching live. Hope you enjoy it. Hi Marianne. Hi Catherine. Hi mum. And then again, um, we may or may not use this stamp set. So this is our bamboo messages stamp set. So you get the three big chunky bamboos on the side there, which are really, really fun cards to use for men because they're easy to use. Um, and then we've got the get well soon. Um, the best is yet to come. Good luck and just have fun. We may use the best is yet to come. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> um, as normal, we are using our cardstock super smooth that comes in 300 or 250 GSM. And we are also using um, our black. And I'm using paper weight just because it cuts down on the weight if you're posting. So that's those bits. Um, let me put these out of the way so I can move all the others that I'm showing you. I know it seems like a lot, but we're only using bits and pieces. And it's just to give you an idea. So if you don't have them and you don't want to purchase them, um, it's just ideas of things to do with them. So we will be using our blending brushes that we do in the two sizes. Um, predominantly using the larger one today because it's a technique that uses a, lot, a fair amount of it quite quickly. Um, and then we've also got the smaller one that comes with a little cap on the top. We've got our sticky glue that comes in the two sizes, the 50, 30 mil or the 120 mil. Uh, we're using white, white embossing powder today. Um, we're using Versamark ink 
It was really good and treated myself to a new one today. Um, salt water, taffy, distress oxide, scattered straw, those two together. Cracked pistachio and evergreen bow, those two together. And broken china and faded jeans, those two together. Can you guess? So I'm just going to pop those to one side for a moment. Just because it gives me a bit of space. Because if you could see what was going on behind the camera. <laughs> right, so cardstock. You do need to keep those little scraps of bits and paper that you've um, got lying around. I keep all of these little pieces because I use them for my backing of my sentiments and stuff. So you just need some scraps of paper for that one. Uh, we are doing, as I said, three different cards. We have got a six by six. Good afternoon, Veronica. And the layers for the six by six are the white piece is five and a half by five and a half, and the black is five and three sixteenths. No, thirteen sixteenths square. Basically, it's just to give a really, really tiny little black border around the edge. So measure it to the size that you want it to be. It doesn't have to be that um, precise. And then you just need a piece of the scraps for your sentiments. We are also going to be doing a landscape um, card. It's an A5 landscape, so you would have to buy these as an A5 landscape. Mine is actually... Um, scored this direction so you, I'm going to be using it up this way so we've got like the tent fold but you could use it this way and the layout that we're going to be doing you could easily do it both ways um, and the measurements on this one are five and a half the white piece is five and a half by seven and seven eighths and the black piece is five and five eighths by eight inches and last but not least can't do an eight can't get away without doing an eight by eight. Uh, the white piece is seven and a half inch square and the black is seven and three quarter inch square. Good afternoon, Debbie. So hopefully you're all still with me, fingers crossed. So we're gonna start off with the easiest one, which is our six by six. If I just pop these up there out of my way. We're going to remove all of this, but we may be going back and finishing some of it in a moment. these to one side and I apologize I've got a squeaky chair the um, renovation of our table happens this week fingers crossed and we'll look all beautiful so I also forgot to mention it is recommended that you use your anti-static bag on this you'll see why as we're going along so lots of anti-static over the top of that then we are going to take our big floral colour stamp and as you can see mine is a well loved one and it still does have some black ink on there. Don't panic about the black ink being on there. Look, my brand new ink pad, look at the colour of it. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't matter. So we are going to ink our stamp up, lots of little light taps. So what's everybody been up to while I've been absent from Facebook Lives? We have been um, crazy busy doing lots and lots of things. We've got so far behind with everything, having had the move and everything. So it was really nice to just have some time to concentrate on what we what we needed to do. And as I say, we had a couple of weeks away, which was lovely. And now, do you know what? We came back into the country on last Friday and we left where we were and it was 37 degrees and we landed here and it was 17. And I think today's the first day the sun shone since Friday, since where we are. So it's lovely to see it. So as you can tell, I'm putting quite a lot of ink on there, but I'm not pressing too hard. Then we're going to flip our stamp over and we are, oh, don't, that was close, wasn't it? In fact, I am going to turn that over just in case it did catch it. It's a good start, isn't it? Welcome back, Amanda. Ink your stamp. We're going to position that as near as damn it in the middle as you can. There's no right or wrong way for this. You can go left, right, upside down, inside out, doesn't matter. For this particular card it is a big stamp so make sure you spend the time that that ink has transferred to the cardstock i'm all right because i've got one that i made earlier so we'll manage if we have to but i'm hoping we're not going to have to we're going to use cracked pistachio and um evergreen bow for this set particular card so as i said it's um some resist techniques so 
I'm going to use the embossing powder for resist because we've done a lot with colouring. Um, <laughs> I don't know how I've got this suntan island because normally I just go bright red. I don't particularly like sitting around in the sun. So as I said, this is a clear ink pad, but as you can see, it's not particularly clean clear ink pad. Um, so don't panic if some of that colour comes through because we're using white opaque embossing powder so you won't see it, fingers crossed. So you're going to pop your embossing powder over the top of this. Give it a light tap to take your excess off. And pop all of this back in to the jar. So we're going to heat this and as usual I will be heating from underneath um, but that is my own personal choice. I find I get a much smoother finish but it is entirely up to you what you do. It is a big stamp, so bear with us. It does take a little while to heat this, um, but fingers crossed. I've got to learn how to do the time. Oh, I can't do time lapse when I'm doing live, can I? Okay, so that is the card, and I don't know if you can see it. I'm trying to try and catch the light on there. If you can see the white on white there, you can just pick it up there, I think. So we've just stamped that image out white on white. While the card's a bit warm still, give it a little bit of a wiggle. And that will help to um, flatten that down. Right, so we are going to now blend some colour on this. So we're going to start with the darker on the inside, moving to the lighter. So we've got cracked pistachio and evergreen bow here. Get rid of some of this stuff and put my lid back on my bottom powder because as you all well know I'm quite good at tipping that over. So we're going to start with the lighter, sorry with the darker and I'm going to go in the middle. Now I don't want to go in there solid colour straight off. So I'm going to take some of the excess off on the side here and just go over the middle of this and just work out, work that ink around. Doesn't have to be exact. Now because this is a smaller card, um, I am going to take this all the way to the edge on this particular design. We're not going to do that on all of the designs that we're doing today. So just lay some of that colour down. Now you don't want to go all the way to the edge on the design. Can you see? Uh, we've still got probably half an inch to an inch on the edge here that hasn't been coloured. I'm then going to go in with the lighter colour. Again, it's quite a new ink that one. So I don't want to go in straight onto the ink pad or onto the design. I want to take off some of that, extra, that excess ink. And I'm just going to work that colour all the way round. And as I said, I am going to come right to the edge of the card stock on this particular design, just because it's not a very big card. 
and I think it's quite a nice way of doing it. So, as I said before, we did a lot of colouring before we took our little summer break. Um, that we had summer, but you know what I mean. Um, so we've decided. I decided to try and come in with something for those of you that aren't particularly keen on colouring, but still want to be using these fab stamps. So this is a really good way of different technique, a quick card to make because we don't always want to spend hours making the same card. As lovely as it is sometimes to do that. So that's all that colour laid down. Just be careful because the oil from your fingers will pick up on this. Um, so be aware when you're doing it. So I'm going to go back in with that darker colour now across the middle again. Just to blend that out. And then in slightly again just around the edge where we've just been with the darker colour but I've gone back in with the lighter colour to help blend those two together. Then we are going to take a piece of kitchen paper, doesn't need anything all singing or dancing, and we are literally going to buff over the top of that embossing. Be careful you don't bend your cardstock because that isn't a good look. And all this is going to do is take off the excess ink that's sitting on top of that embossing powder. That's it. How simple is that? But how effective does that look? I love it. It's a really quick, easy technique to do. So we are then going to layer this up on here. As I said, it's just a really, really, really tiny, thin line. Um, of black cardstock all the way around. So if you want to be really, really fru frugal, you could cut a square out the middle there too, because you don't need it, you just need the bit around the edge. Just wiping off the excess ink there off, off my mat. So let's do this. Hopefully my glue hasn't bunged itself up in the time that I've been waffling. And again, I get asked a lot how I manage to avoid getting the lines on my cardstock from the glue showing through. Um, I try my hardest. Karen, naughty lady. <laughs> I try my hardest to keep the glue nib as close to the paper, the cardstock as I can. And I try and use a slightly heavier weight cardstock if I know it's something that the glue's not going to get hidden. Hidden, should I say. So, we'll stick that down. I think there's a few of you ladies that sneakily watch me while you're at work. But that's all right, as long as the work gets done. And then all I've done is take the birthday wishes sentiment from um, from our sentiment stamp set, stuck it on, laid it up, done exactly the same technique. So I've done it with the white embossing powder and then I've coloured it with the same two inks that we have used here. Just get this backing off. So I did do the two inks. Um, just to kind of keep it all together and tied in and as you will know a little bit of glue on the back of my foam pads these are really thin foam pads I just wanted a slight lift on this and then I'm going to pop my sentiment down here I think actually maybe it'll come in a little bit we'll go there so my sentiment is on that's our topper finished, but as you will know, I like to carry it through to the inside of my card. So we are going to do just the same on the inside. Getting covered in glue. It's not a good move, Amanda. So I'm just going to pick out a small section. It doesn't have to be anything particular piece that you like and I'm just going to do this bottom corner I suppose the fact that my ink pad's not clean anymore means that you actually get to see it oh how nice die some time off I have to say we came straight back into work um, on Saturday really, uh, maybe not quite as full on as we have been, um, but we did start working on Saturday and <laughs> we landed Friday evening so we know that feeling, straight back to work.
Julie, I make it look so easy. I promise you, there's nothing I do that's difficult. I promise. I do my hardest not to make it too difficult. Because you know what? I want to do stuff that people can achieve, not things that try and make me look good. It's about making stuff that people can achieve. So we're just heating this up just like we would. Now, obviously, the card base is slightly thicker than my 250 GSM that I've been using. So it does take a little bit longer to heat and melt. Sorry, I know you probably can't see this because it's white on white, isn't it? Um, again, just leave that for a couple of seconds to cool down. Sorry, I don't know if you heard that. It's supposed to be on silent, my phone, but obviously it wasn't. Right, so we are going to take the ink pads. And again, just take a little bit of that darker colour and pop that in the middle. And then a little bit of the lighter colour around the edges. Oh, went in a bit heavy there, I think. Oh well. And then back in with a little bit of that darker colour, just because I went a bit heavy with that lighter. And then again, you're going to buff it. And that is your little piece in the centre of your, inside of your card. Remember, bring it all the way through. Let's get rid of this for us. Pop those lids on and we'll pop this card all together. And again, you can pop this on with foam pads if you want to. Hi, Margaret. It's nice to see lots of you back. So I mentioned that there might be a slight change to our Facebook, live, Facebook YouTube lives. There is going to be a slight change, as in we are going to change the day from Wednesday to Thursday. Thursday so we're going to work on a Thursday and it's going to be every other week at the moment um, I had to take a look at life really we were doing 18 hours a day seven days a week and nobody can sustain that forever and something's got to give because as you all know it's just the two of us and mum um, that do this business and it just has got to the point where we can't keep going at that pace. I hope you will understand. <laughs> so here we go. This is our finished card. We'll come back to chatting about the Facebook YouTube lives afterwards. Obviously pop whatever sentiment you want in there. So that's the first one of our resist techniques. So that's white embossing powder and we have used evergreen bow and cracked pistachio for this. Two colours that I don't often go to. But I think it's really nice. And actually, that you could use that with, for a men's card, even though it's slightly florally. Or if you wanted to really bring it out a little bit further, you could always decoupage some of these sort of swirly bits, some of the little floral pieces. That would be quite cute on there too. So let's just come in a little bit closer so you can see it. So that is a six by six. So now we're going to change it up a little and go slightly larger and go to our, let's go the A5 landscape. So as I said before, we have the white piece is five and a half inches by seven and seven eighths, and the black piece is five and five eighths by eight inches. That's purely because of the um, margins I want around, the layering I want around the sides. So you just need to do that to fit whatever size card you want. Bear with me, I'm going to start to cough. So. Sorry about that, thought I'd catch the cough before. <clears throat> right, so there are our layers. Again, I'm going to pop that off to one side. Now, see Maggie, it's not colours I go to very often, as I just said, but I thought they were quite nice together actually. 
Um, so this time, these are staple colours for me. Faded jeans, broken china. Love these two colours together. I'm losing all sorts of bits and pieces on here today. It is absolute chaos on this desk. Because I was frantically trying to find those two stamps that I wanted and I can't find them anywhere. Because um, I've had it. I was going to say I've had a tidy up, but mum had a tidy up for me, bless her heart, while I was away. Um, which was amazing to come back in and find my office was all nice and tidy and things had been put away that I hadn't put away for a long time. But now I've got to find some of them again. But that's fine. We will. What's actually happened is they've been put back where they're supposed to be and it's not where I would normally go. <laughs> they've all been put back in their nice pretty storage boxes. So again, we are inking this stamp up. We're going to be doing a little bit of stamping off the page for this one. So make sure you put plenty of ink on there. Again, it doesn't matter which way around you have this card. It, or this stamp, it's entirely up to you how you do it. And where you position it. But we are stamping off the page. About there. That's where it's going anyway. Again, big stamp, so give it time for that ink to transfer from the stamp to the paper. And although you don't have to work super, super fast for this because it is embossing ink, I wouldn't recommend you went and made a cup of tea or coffee, whatever it is you drink. So we're gonna ink that stamp up again. And we're gonna do this bottom corner. Now, obviously I have used this half of the stamp, so I'm gonna come around and use the other half of the stamp. But again, that's your choice. If you wanna use the two sides the same, go for it. And we're going in the bottom corner. Can you believe I've been waffling for 20 minutes, 27 minutes already, good grief. So, And then again, white, white embossing powder is going to be used. Probably should have said I would recommend you use your anti-static bag first and I'll probably regret that I haven't, but I haven't, so I can't go back now. Not too bad. If you see random red lines on my cards after I flick them, I had my nails done to go on holiday. So I have the shellac nails done, which are great, but this one always comes off first. And I've got a really good match with the, um, a fairly good match with the colors, not perfect. Um, in just in a standard um, nail polish, but it doesn't like it when I keep whacking white card with it. So obviously we've stamped off the page, so I'm just gonna give this a bit of a wipe over to take off the excess um, sticky ink that's on there, the embossing ink. Oh, Marianne, oh, I'm sorry. Hopefully you'll be able to catch up with us on some of them and other ones. We're going to try it. If it doesn't work on a, win on a Thursday, then we'll look at it again. We're just trying to find the best time and times it doesn't clash with lots of other people doing Facebook Lives and YouTube Lives as well, which always is it's better for everybody. It means you get to watch the ones you want to watch when you want to watch them and we get you to watch what we're doing as well. So, um, yeah, we're just trying out a few different dates and times. And as I say, so we are going to be working on a... We're trying to do it on a Thursday afternoon, trialing it um, every other Thursday. So we are here today. So it will be two weeks today on the Thursday that you will see me again live. Um, and we're just going to see how it goes. Fingers crossed it will work for everybody. Uh, anybody that's watching, I forgot to check the date of the Thursday two weeks time. Uh, dye, yes, it would definitely work with the twinkly embossing powder. Uh, you just would have to be slightly more careful when you buff it because you don't want to take all the glitter off. 
um, obviously the majority of the glitter gets held within the embossing powder but some will come off when you buff it. But you'll still get a fairly sparkly design. So again we have just heat embossed that on both sides. So going back to the YouTube, so if anybody um, has access to a calendar and they can tell me what the date is two weeks today on a Thursday, <laughs> that would be great. Mum? Veronica? Martin? Anybody? <laughs> so again, I'm just giving that a little bit. Uh, that would be the 24th. Thank you very much, Tina. That's very much appreciated. Right, so we are now going to go in with and do a similar thing. That we did previously. We've got the two colours here. We're going to go in with the darker colour. I always have to do this, put one on top of the other, otherwise I forget. Two weeks tomorrow will be the 17th. No, that will be a week, I think, Eileen. Because what will be the 8th now? That's only 11 days, isn't it? Nine days. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Thursday the 24th is. So again, I've loaded some my brush with the darker colour. I'm going to take some of the excess off. Now, obviously, we were working on the edge of the page here, which makes this little bit of blending probably a little bit easier to do, if I'm honest. So again, you're going to go in um, with your darker colour first. And I've gone in so that we've got about an inch off the edge all the way around. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Again, I work a little bit quicker if I'm going to do it like this uh, because I want to still be able to blend. I want, don't want those inks to dry too much. And then I'm going to take the lighter colour again, come off the page first and then go around the edge. Now I do want to come slightly past our design on this one. But not all the way. Spin it around and do the same on the other side. Didn't take the excess off, so we've got a bit of a splodge there. We'll work that in. because I wasn't concentrating because I was reading the comments <laughs> so that's my fault but you'll get the idea I've got one I did earlier if I need to use it and we need to come in a little bit heavier down here because we are missing this bottom corner this doesn't have to be perfect that's what I'm trying to say to you these do not have to be perfect when you do this if you go in slightly darker then it just means that your images from here at the moment this looks awful but that's because we haven't gone in with the other colour again yet <laughs> bear with us it will come together I promise now obviously these two pieces here are really quite close thank you Teresa lovely to see you back too um, so I am just going to really lightly bring those two together in the middle you don't have to if you'd rather not, it's entirely up to you. But I kind of think, well, they're just about touching anyway, so they might as well touch. Back in with the darker colour just to soften that line of the two blending. Goodness, that does look a bit harsh on there, on the screen. It really isn't that harsh in person. We'll try and blend that out a little bit more so it's not maybe so circularly harsh. Right, and then again we are going to buff this, which brings that white out really harsh. Not harsh, really hard on there so you get to see that lovely white come through again 
But again, it's all this is all one set of stamps in different techniques, which makes it look like a completely different card. So let's come up here. And you can see it's not as harsh as it looks from down here. That looks really hard. But when you come up here, it really isn't as harsh. I am going to just come in, I think, a little bit off here and maybe soften these edges a little bit with the lighter colour. It's just a case of playing around with it until you're happy with the finish. Maybe don't do what I'm doing and looking up at the screen because the screen is showing it as being a really hard line. But actually, when you see it in person, it really isn't a hard line at all. So I think we will stop before we take it over. So again, I'm just going to quickly buff those edges just because obviously we went in again with a little bit more of that ink. And I want the white to show through. So this is the one I did earlier. Exactly the same. Almost. Look, you could repeat it and repeat it and repeat it. Um, and then I've done the sentiment here, which was from uh, the birthday cake stamp set. As you all know, this is one of my favourite, favourite sentiments. I love it. Did it again exactly the same technique. Just take off all the excess for a moment. We're going to take our cards and layer this up. So as I said, you can put this up either way that you want, whichever way you want it to be really. Uh, you can go landscape or portrait, choice is yours. That's the nice thing about this style of card, there's no right or wrong way for it. And again, I've got a couple of foam pads on the back of these, which will take me a couple of seconds to get the backing off. They are super skinny just to give it a slight lift. So we've worked hard to um, with our Facebook Lives to get everybody to try and find a date that works for everybody. The Wednesdays do work for most, but we have another commitment on a Wednesday as well, which makes it a really stressful day and I don't want this to be stressful for any of us um, so that's why we've kind of had to look at what we're doing um, we do sometimes clash with a couple of others that do Facebook lives as well um, so it's nice to try and find a time where we're not going to clash as well uh, so that is our um, card finished again we haven't popped that on the other piece yet because no I said I was going to do it tenfold and I've done it the other way around so here we go, we're going this way now. I was going to do it up that way. But now you've got it this way. See, because I was waffling. Again, still quite a nice way of doing it, but I planned on it to be around like that. Never mind. Works well, doesn't it? What do you all think? So before we go and pop that in there, we are going to do the inside of this card as well. Same way, well, slightly different. Obviously, this fits quite well all the way across, pretty much across the card there. So I'm going to do that. Not the whole thing, but just a section of it. Just to tie it in. And if you didn't want to do the three colours, Uh, so the two colours on the inside, you could just go with one uh, so that you've brought the colour in, otherwise you lose the whole effect of this style of card. I've still got one more to fit in, but I'm looking at the time and I'm wondering if maybe we will do that as a video. Let's see. Well, I'll have a think while I'm doing this bit. I think I might have to clean the new ink pad though because we are getting darker and darker as I'm going along. So 
Again, white white embossed powder on there, give that a bit of a flick, take your excess off. Happy mistake. It was Therese, uh, Tina, yep, that's what it is. See, that's the thing, Catherine, so many people look at things and, me included, and think, mm, I wouldn't use that because it's too much colouring. This is ideal for anybody, so you can use it for lots of colouring, if that's what you love to do, or you can use it for techniques like this, which I think works really nicely. So again, we're heating from underneath. Those of you that don't know, the reason I do that, it does give you a slightly smoother finish on your um, embossing powder, it also, because you put a barrier between your heat tool and your um, powder, which helps to to, for the powder to sort of not jump, if you notice that sometimes the powder can jump around a little bit. I know I'm off camera, but to try and get this finished quicker, I need to see what I'm doing. New glasses, not good. So we will just go back on camera. So I've added that on there. Try and catch the light on it so you can see. Let that cool down, and while it's cooling down, I'm just going to try and stop it being quite so cold. It's a little bit curlier than I wanted it to be. Silence fell over us. <laughs> right, there we go. So, again, I'm just going to take this colour, the darker one first, blend into the middle. and then the lighter one around the edges. Back in with the dark up, take that back through. Give that a buff, and you have now done the inside of your card as well. Okay, so we have carried that all the way through, like I tell you, I love to do. It just makes the card look a little bit more finished, I personally think, but it is my choice. And we are going to pop that on there. I'm getting to the end of my glue. I think I'm going to have to give up and go to the bigger one. And fingers crossed, this one hasn't bunged up since I've used it earlier. It has. Bear with me, people. I'm coming, I promise. Why don't they do that to me? They know that I don't need them to do that to me today. Glue. Vein of my life. Hopefully we're clear now. This is not a stamp to be scared of. It's a big stamp, granted, but it's one that is so, so, so useful. I mean, can you imagine that as a nice wedding card with, uh, you can theme the colors around. So many of us have got weddings and things to go to this time of year. Theme the colors around it, make a nice thank you card for weddings or birthdays. And remember, pop your sentiment in there. If you wanted to, I've only gone around the edges here, but if you wanted to, you could really Pull this all the way through 
and take it top to bottom, which will also look really effective. But don't forget to buff it because you need that white to come through. And it does on the script. Let me know, does it look harsh? Because it really isn't harsh when you see it in person. But on the screen it seems to look a little bit harsh. So that's card number two. Same technique, same stamp, just a slightly different use of it. Now this one could cause me to scream. As I said, we tried this before, I didn't get it finished. Um, so we're going to give it a go. If it doesn't work, I will redo it on a Facebook. On a, not on a Facebook Live, on a uh, video for you. Uh, so we'll give it a go anyway. In for a penny, in for a pound, eh? But I do need to clear some space before I can start this one. Oh, that's nice to know, Maggie, because from here the screen looks, it looks really harsh on there. Oh, that looks much better in person. Okie doke, so eight by eight. Uh, the card stock here is seven and a half by seven and a half for the white and seven and three quarters by seven and three quarters for the black. Now I am using my Make Art Station for this one. You don't have to if you don't have one of these. Uh, you can use, it's just easier if you've got something that's got a grid on it. Now, because I'm going to be putting tape on this, you do need to use your anti-static bag. Otherwise, when you take your tape off and you put your embossing powder on, it will stick to where the tape has been. Now, you need to, and to take as much of the stickiness off your tape as you can. So I am just quickly rubbing this tape on my jeans to take the some of the sticky away. I need it to hold in place, but I don't want it to be super, super sticky. Hi, Sheila. I'm glad you've managed to join us. Hope you're enjoying it. You've been very, if you've only just come in, great. If not, you've been very quiet and you're welcome to join in and comment on anything, good or bad. I like to know what everybody's opinions are. So I want this in the middle. Now, if I'm right, that's three and a bit plus one. I think that's the middle. Come on, Amanda, use your brain. One, two, three, and one. Yeah. Give or take. Obviously, we're doing a line, so if it's not perfect, it's not perfect. I'm not going to have kittens over it. Says she that's just undone it and redoing it. Oof. I hope you're enjoying watching it. Gina, you said you're the first time watching, but you haven't said whether you're enjoying it yet. I'll take it that you are. So, sorry, I keep having to disappear and grab a mouthful of my drink because I've got a niggling cough today. Hay fever. Hay fever, can you believe it? I don't suffer with anything when I'm in a different country, but when I'm in England, I suffer with hay fever and asthma quite badly at this time of year because they're harvesting around us and me and harvest are not friends. I'm sure it's nearly over, so that's always a good thing. Right, we are going to use again that same stamp. Just going to try and take some of this excess ink off here that I don't want on there. I'm getting a bit too dark. stamp up lots and lots and lots and lots of little taps don't press too hard because if you press the ink pad too hard it pushes all the ink into the nooks and crannies of your stamp and you lose all the definition so again same stamp floral color roughly in the middle once it's down there's no going back now, you have got, although a very thin piece of tape here, it is a ledge or a ridge that could form here. 
so make sure you pay attention to where that ridge is press down extra hard on those two on those bits fingers crossed we don't have an extra line there that we don't want to. so I'm going to remove that I may have some sticky residue there, but we'll find out in a few moments. Don't get rid of that piece of tape that you've just used because you're going to need it again in a few moments. Um, for this one, I do have a paintbrush to hand just in case. White, white embossing powder. Not too bad. Some has stuck where the tape was. Hence, I said to you to... Um, Take as much off as you can. You just want it to just hold. And that anti-static bag will be your friend. So that's the white, white embossing powder over the top. Just going to take that off if I can. A little bit of it came off anyway. Right, so we are going to heat emboss this one again. So I'm going to get my heat gun. Ooh, it would make a nice Christmas stamp, wouldn't it? Whatever colours you chose to use. So we're going to heat this one again underneath. Now, as I say, I didn't get this finished before, so we're going to go all the way through sentiment and all. When I decide what sentiment we're using. see it on there let me know it's super super fine for some reason on this I'm trying to catch the light on it so you can see but we've got a strip down the middle that has nothing on it you're going to pop your lid back on that embossing powder i'm going to take that piece of tape and i'm going to try and position it right back where we took it off from it doesn't have to be perfect but as near as damn it as you can. Again, it doesn't matter if it's not held in place because you're going to be spinning it around probably anyway. So the two colours we are using for this one, if I can see them in front of me, are scattered straw and saltwater taffy. Uh, Teresa, I'm using 250 GSM just because I take the, the weight out of things a little bit but you can do 250 300 whatever um, weight you've got I probably wouldn't go lower than 250 because you're doing a lot of embossing um, with this so it can warp the card the thinner you go the more warp the card tends to get when you're embossing so exactly the same technique we are going to use the lighter cut the darker color in the middle the lighter color on the outside I'm going to take some of the excess off and we're going to work this in. You don't want to go too heavy to begin with. They are quite different colours. So you're better to go in really light first. And then go back in and do some light, some darker colours. Go over it darker if you want to. Because you can't really take it away. But you can add. That's all I will say to you. You can add but you can't take away. So she who's just done exactly what she didn't want to do. Oh well, I thought I'd taken enough excess off on the mat, but obviously not. Oh well. So we have got about just under an inch, probably around the edge, that I haven't coloured. 
we'll go in now with our scattered straw and work our way around the edge. Now I am aware scattered straw might be a little bit more difficult for you to see on the screen. Hopefully it's coming through okay. And now I don't want to put this on too heavy. <laughs> gone all quiet because I'm concentrating on this now because I'm thinking to myself hmm, have we gone too heavy we'll find out when we take this piece of out the middle that will be the big tell it will be what it will be ladies and gents that's all I can say as I say I didn't get this finished before so it is what it is <laughs> back in with that pink salt water taffy just because you want it to be a little bit softer as you go up into that other one right let's see where we're at and buff this exactly the same way keep buffing until you're happy that the white has come through i'm going to remove my piece of tape and there is our next one hi barbara hi linda a few of you sneaked through there while i was thank you linda they are quite summery colors aren't they um they're not colours, again, that I use particularly. I really thought, right, we're going to... No pink, Amanda. We have got a little bit of pink. We can't have some... Can't be me without a little bit of pink. So that is fairly straight, I think. Um, I'm not sure how harsh, again, it's looking on the screen. For me, it looks quite harsh, but hopefully it's not looking... Because, again, it doesn't look harsh when you're seeing it here in front of me which is the annoying thing. So now I've got to decide what sentiment I'm going to use. Let me find my stamps right in front of me. <laughs> so we've got a few different ones we can pop in here. Now we could do that one, celebrate your day, and the Y was, is going to come into the design. We could do happy birthday. I think maybe that's the one we're going to go with. Yeah, we'll go with happy birthday. Although it comes over slightly. I was thinking maybe to do something a little bit more geometric, a little bit more... Um, So like maybe put the best is yet to come in the middle there. Uh, but I think we'll go with this one. And see how we get on. So this is the one that I said we may, we may not, we may, we may not. Um, just pick that stamp up. So again, I am going to do what lots of people cringe when I do it. But it's entirely your choice. A little bit of Versamark ink. And then I'm going to take my saltwater taffy. Again, we're winging this. It may look blooming awful. Thanks for joining, Catherine. Hopefully you'll be able to catch up at the end and see what we did with this final piece. Pop that in there. Hopefully that's in the middle. <laughs> I know, I've been a whole hour waffling. But we did get three cards done in an hour. That's not bad going, is it? So that is our stamp stamped out. I'm not sure if we are going to go... Why is it doing this? We had this problem before. Uh, 
I'm not sure if you caught that or not. Uh, we had somebody try and call in and we have to use my phone. We're going to have to find another way of using, doing this. My phone gets used as our, our overhead camera for this particular project. And if I put it on to Do Not Disturb, then I don't get to see any comments come through. Uh, so it's a bit of a catch-22, really. Hi, Leslie. I'm sorry you might not made it earlier. Hopefully you'll be able to go back and watch us on a lot on, on the um, catch-up. We will be, or you can go back and watch us on our lives, but on, you know what I mean. So that is that piece finished. Again, we will layer that up. We've just done lots of different resist technique ideas, Leslie, today with the same set of stamps, but doing lots of different start designs of card. So you'll be able to go back and see what we did. Um, and if any of you have got friends that don't do Facebooks and YouTube Lives, all of these videos are linked on our website, honeydoucraft.co.uk or .com, wherever about in the world you are. Um, we'll bring them up as well across the top of the, the website page, first page. It will say demo videos and you can go in and watch them all. So again, we're going to do the inside of that card. nice to know Leslie thank you hopefully you enjoy it you will hear as well Leslie that we are changing our day from a Thursday from a Wednesday to a Thursday and we will be doing um, every other week instead of every week going forwards uh, we're just going to trial it see how we go that's where we're going uh, to see how it goes and see whether it works for everybody. Put that white on there. You'll be pleased to know, ladies and gents, I'm nearly finished. You can uh, stop waffling and then you can go back and watch it'll be like you do on all the other channels you'll be zipping through all my waffling just to watch the demos I have got sticky ink on there so I'm just going to wipe that off otherwise it becomes a problem again heat from underneath slightly longer time to do this because of the thickness of the card stock for the card bases they do tend to be quite a lot thicker finished the promise you, all you're seeing is a white screen I know right again just wait for that to dry take seconds to try and get that a little bit flatter I'm going to take these two colours again Saltwater taffy and scattered straw. Just a little bit in the middle there. Doesn't seem like I've been away at all. It seems like I've not had any time off. It's just rolled right back into it. And the scattered straw around the edge. So you can pop whatever sentiment you want in there. We've just taken that colour and that design all the way through your card. We'll pop this topper on the front. And 
and we are just about finished. I'll just run through what we have actually ended up using because I know there was a few extra named stamps there that we didn't go to in the end. So, right, pop these out of our way so that we can show you the three cards. Same technique, just a different way of using that technique. So we have the one that we have that we just finished there with the saltwater taffy and um, thatched straw. Then we have this one that we did, which has got the two halves, and that is using faded jeans and broken china. And again, we took that through just along the edge. And the first one we did, which seems a long time ago now, using evergreen bow and cracked pistachio was our lovely little six by six. You could maybe just pop a couple of little gems in there. That would be quite cute too, just to pull it all in together. So what did we actually use? We have used our sticky glues, which come in the two different sizes. Sticky glue. We've used the white, white embossing powder. We have used the blending brushes in the large and the small. We've used black, a black paper weight just to take the weight down on your cards. We've used 250 GSM, but super smooth. We'll also do it in the 300. We have used a floral colour stamp set, which also comes with Don't Forget to Have Fun and Sometimes All You Need Is a Little Splash of Colour. Fab stamp set. And as somebody said, Catherine, I think it was said, she's avoided this stamp because she didn't do all the colouring. But this is perfect for not colouring as well. So it's a really good go-to stamp set. We have used our sentiment stamp set. So we've used Birthday Wishes. Or did we use Happy Birthday, I think? And... Um, Birthday Wishes, I think, was the other one. We also used the Happy Birthday Off the Birthday Cake stamp set as well. And that was it. I did suggest maybe using a couple of these sentiments, Just Have Fun or The Best Is Yet To Come, because they work perfectly in this centre strip here. So as you can see, they're about an inch, and this is an inch wide strip that I've given myself here. So they work perfectly for that too. And that might be really nice to make it just pop out. So they are your different options available there. So, But this is what we've actually used. Um, the colours we have used in Distress Oxides are a saltwater taffy and scattered straw, broken china and faded jeans, and cracked pistachio and evergreen bow. I'm not going to do this. There we go. <laughs> uh, and don't forget, you will need an anti-static bag for this particular design as well um yeah so i think that is everything all of these are available over on our website honeydewcast.co.uk or um if you are overseas we've got the dot com as well you'll find us on both look at the state of this oh well i said it was au natural today didn't i <laughs> um glad you like the cards uh let me know uh what you think to it remember we have our be inspired honeydew craft be inspired page over on Facebook that you can post all of your projects that you've been making using Handu Crafts products as well. So that might be a nice place for you to share if you do this do this design uh, or use this particular set of stamps. Um, what else do we need to tell you? For those of you in the northwest, I think I am going to the northwest. Uh, we are going to be at the Lee Sincerely Yours Lee Papercraft Show this Sunday from 9:30 in the morning till 3:30 in the afternoon. Hope we'll see lots of you there, Barbara. Um, Glad you like them, Heather and Pat. Um, other than that, we are, uh, it's quite quiet now until, uh, when we're back, I think our first show is probably mid-September. Uh, so, but obviously we will be doing these um, Facebook Lives. Hopefully lots of you can join us on the Thursday. As I said, we're gonna give it a go to see whether it works better for everybody. Um, Thursdays, two o'clock, every other Thursday. So the next one we'll be back is the 24th of August. Thursday, the 24th of August. Uh, we will be posting that on Facebook as well. 
um, but feel free to pop back and have a look at the videos. If you are watching us on YouTube, you can go in and look at all of our past videos. I think there's 50, 60, 70 videos on there now. There's a lot, I know, um, that you can go back and look at other different techniques and things as well on there. If you're looking on Facebook Live, um, we these do stay on our Facebook page. But again, you can click onto our website and it will take you to watch these videos if you've missed them. Thank you all for joining us. Um, fingers crossed we will see you all again in a couple of weeks. Have a lovely rest of the week. And if you are coming to Lee, make sure you pop and say hello to us. See you there. Take